Good morning, TDB family and friends, and welcome to TDB's Prayer Hour. I ask that you prepare your hearts for prayer, and if you're able to, please close your eyes and bow your heads. Father God, Lord, we just thank you. Thank you for another day, Father God. Thank you for just blessing us to see this new day, Father God, for giving us the functionality of our limbs, Father God. Lord, we thank you for another opportunity to bring glory and honor to your name, Father God. Lord, I ask that you continue to search our hearts, Father God, and create in us a clean heart and a renewed spirit, Father God. Purge anything that's not of you, Father God, be it hate, be it bitterness, be it envy, be it whatever grudges we may be holding, Father God, even stubbornness, Father God, whatever it is, Father God, that's not of you, Father God, purge it from our hearts right now, Father God. Lord, we thank you that our heart is open to receive your word, Father God, to receive your process, to receive a message, Father God, whether it's from our pastor, whether it's from a family, friend. Lord, we just thank you that we're open to receive what it is that you're trying to get to us, Father God. Lord, we thank you right now, Father God, for giving us a kingdom heart, Father God, and a kingdom mindset, Father God, that we, to the point that we're able to just not only give our tithes, Father God, but we give generously, Father God, because it is you that we're even able to give, Father God. It is you who causes us to give. It is you who, who causes us to be able to be a blessing to those who you have put in our past, Father God. Lord, we thank you right now in the name of Jesus, Father God, that not only that we have a kingdom mindset and a kingdom heart, Father God, but we thank you right now in advance, Father of God for helping us manage what you have given us. Help us to become better stewards of what you have given us, Father God, be it relationships, be it our children, be it our, our, our businesses, be it our money, Father God. We thank you right now that we're able to manage it and manage it well, Father God, so that not only when you when you tell us to go and when you tell us yes, Father God, that we're able to carry it out and we won't have to try to figure out how to do this or how to do that. Father God, Lord, we just thank you right now in the name of Jesus. We give all glory and honor to your name, Father God, because we know that in you is yes and amen, Father God. We know that in you there is liberty, Father God. We thank you right now in the name of Jesus, Father God, that we will not be bound by the schemes of the enemy, that we will not be in bondage by negative thoughts, that we will not be in bondage by what we see with our natural eyes, Father God, but we will continue to stand on your word, Father God. We will continue to glorify you, Father God, and not just praise you with our lips, Father God, but in our actions, Father God, and in our well-doing, Father God. So we thank you right now in the name of Jesus, Father God, that it is well in everything that we do. We thank you right now, Father God, that it is well in our mind, that it is well in our hearts, Father God, that it is well within our bodies, Father God, that we're able to carry out the the purpose that you have called us to do, Father God, that we have the courage to carry it out, that we have the wisdom to carry it out, that we have the understanding to carry it out. Father God, Lord, we just thank you right now in the name of Jesus, Father God, that we will be flat-footed in your word, that we will not be moved by our situations, that we will not be moved by lack, Father God, because we know that lack is, is of the enemy, Father God, and not just of the enemy, but because we mismanage what you have given us, Father God. So we thank you that you have, that you give us the wisdom to manage what you have blessed us with, Father God, and that we will not get a offended when we are corrected in love, Father God. So we just thank you right now, Father God, that this week going forward, Father God, that we will be open to receive correction in love, that we will be open to receive your wisdom, that we will be open to receive your knowledge, that we will be open to receive your understanding. Father God, Lord, we just thank you, Father God, because we know that we are already blessed, Father God. And not only that we are blessed, but we are blessed to be a blessing, Father God. So we thank you 
you right now in the name of Jesus, Father God, that our lives are living epistles to those who may not know you, Father God, that they will look at us and want to know what it is that they must do to be saved, Father God. So we thank you, Father God, that we are lights that shine in dark places, Father God, that when people see us, they see you, Father God, that we are a reflection of you, Father God, that the love that we have for you is a reflection of how our relationship with other people is, Father God. So we just thank you right now in the name of Jesus, Father God. Lord, we thank you, Father God, that you will continue to mold us, continue to build our character, Father God, continue to give us strength, Father God, as we go through, Father God. Just like Paul had prayed three times for you to remove that thorn, but you said that your grace is sufficient. So we thank you, Father God, that although we may be going through, we thank you that your grace is sufficient, Father God, that you give us the courage, the wisdom, the knowledge and understanding to continue to go through it. We thank you and we bless your mighty name, Father God. We know that it is done in Jesus mighty name. Amen. You guys have a blessed week and see you on Sunday.